hello. It has been weeks, I know, and I apologize, but you have no idea. So right after I posted my other video, um, the farmhouse, kitchen, farm to table, whatever, whichever one it was, that uh, recipe book, <clears throat> my husband decided that that was when he needed to go ahead and enlarge my craft room. And he he's the type that when he says, hey, you want to do this? You either say yes, or that option may not come up again for another two years. So I said yes. And so that took a few weeks because we had to knock out a wall. We had to rebuild a wall. Uh, the drywall guy is going to be coming up here in a few more weeks to, to finish that because it's kind of ugly right now. But I am no longer working in a prison cell because that's how big my room was. It was the size of a jail cell. So I've got a much bigger room, more cushy. This uh, table, I wish you could see it, but it is, it's actually a table instead of a desk. Um, I had just a skinny desk that uh, was only, I think, 20 inches deep, which doesn't leave much for moving around. And now I've got all kinds of things right here at my fingertips. Um, and so once I got that done, I did a new book. And I did tutorials for this whole thing. But whenever I had to put my whole craft room back together again, I did a different uh, recording setup that I thought was working. And then whenever I went through to edit all the videos to put them out, there was not one bit of sound on any of it. And then I thought, well, I could voice over it. But Lord, I don't know what I was saying whenever I was doing those things. So this is the book we're going to make. I have now made this, I have made this book twice. Once was a, a recipe book for a gentleman I work with. Then I made this one thinking I was doing it as a tutorial for all of you. And that didn't work, but it's a cute little book. So now we're going to do it for me for the third time. I'm going to be using this God Bless America paper. It's Cartabella. It's from back in 2021. I got it at the warehouse sale. Um, the cool thing that I liked about this book and the other one is this is a small and kind of compact book. So I did this and whenever I did this one and, and the other one, um, I used the six by eight paper pads by Simple Stories and was able to make this whole book with the exception of the journaling cards from two six by eight pads. And that's just more of a, of a cost-saving thing. I don't want you to think that I'm always a paper eater whenever I make my books. Um, so, yeah, this was all done with just two of those and then some red paper and black, or red cardstock and black cardstock. So let's go ahead and look through this real quick. So here we have our cute little paper. And it, this really is, it is uh, homegrown is the paper that I used from Simple Stories. Um, it's more of a barnyard theme for me. <laughs> Excuse me. But it is adorable paper. And I have, I don't know if you can see them. Oh yeah, you can. I got little pigs and little chickens and little cows in here in my shaker because I love, love, love shakers. Um, I got I got each of those from three different places on Etsy. What I do is I go in and I put a uh, cute clay shaker mix or I'll, I'll find out exactly what it is. I'll even try to find it and I will pin it down in the bottom here. Um, but that's where I've gotten those and oh, they're just adorable. So here we have farm life. I did get some of the uh, puffy stickers and here's our spine. This is only a two inch spine. So there's only, there's only three pages in here. Of course, six if you count those front and back. Um, but yeah, not it. Not every book has to be a three or four inch spine. <clears throat> so, and this is, I can't even remember the size. Hold on. All right, so it is six and a quarter 
nope, six and three quarters by eight and a half. So, not a huge book, but it is, it's just absolutely adorable. So, in here we have that braided pocket again. And I, I put all these in here so you could see how much it will hold. And, of course, all of these open up. And in the, isn't that just cute paper? Ugh. So, yeah, this, this will hold. I'm in love with these braided pockets. So, anywho, so that all will go hit there. And over here, we have a, a little acetate cover. This is my chicken page. I'm sorry for the glare. But I got, yeah, little chickens everywhere. Cock-a-doodle-doo. And you can open it, and there we just have a, a pocket. And, you know, I don't normally have my pockets facing out, but we have this cute little acetate cover with a magnet here, and that keeps it from falling out the side. So here we have a page that I've done. This was different in the recipe book that I did for the gentleman to what I did here, but the page that I did in the recipe book, I, just, I thought would work better staying in a recipe book, if that makes clear as mud, right? So these pull out, spin out, and there you have a spot for three pictures. And then it magnets back in and then it spins down. Ta-da! And then you open it up here and we have a cute little tuck spot and a little pocket. But you know, you, you can actually fit a five by seven picture here because these pages are uh, six and a quarter yeah, there's all the stuff I wanted. They are six and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The cover is six and three quarters by eight and a half. So, and then over here, we've got, this is a pocket closure, right? So nothing opens till we do that. And then you can open here. And then here we have more pockets and more pockets. And then just this cute I don't know. I have a friend who wants this book, but I don't know that she's going to get it. Because I'm just in love with all these little pigs and chickens and and the whatnot. Oh, for the love of peanuts. How did I do that wrong? Oh, that's how I did it. Duh. Anywho, there we go. Then we do the same thing here. So here we have two mirrored pages. So I like to do that. One, I, I like the symmetry of it, but two, it also saves down on having to do thinking up a whole other page, but I, I do like symmetry. So here we have two tuck spots. It looks like a belly band, but it doesn't go through. You, of course, if you wanna make this into a belly band, by all means, just knock off that part that, that puts it to the side. So here we have this is more pockets, more pockets, and this side is just the same. So pockets, we've got big spaces for pictures here. And then, oh, this is my favorite page, y'all. So here we have this cute little barn because it's a farm. But I made it so we can open it up. Notice we've got this up here. I cut this out on my Cricut. The, the paper pad that I had came with this barn looking paper. Um, so yeah, it already came with that. And so I thought, well, we need to make it into a barn. So that's what I did. Added this white trim up here, cut this out on my silhouette. And then I cut out the two barn shapes here out of black. The, here I just put journaling marks on it. But we can also spin this up. And then here we have and I had to use the farm scene because what do you get with a barn? You get a farm. So I put the farm scene paper back there and just a few more journaling cards. And then of course the, the waterfall. I figure if we do these enough times, y'all know how to do them in your sleep, kind of like I do. 
So here is the cute little book we're going to make. Now let me show you the paper we're gonna make it with. I am all out of my eight by six pads because I don't normally buy them because I don't normally have, they just don't normally work for the big books that I make. So I am going to use, there's two kits of this. I shouldn't need it all, but you know, you never know. So I've got plenty of paper. I haven't made a 4th of July book for me personally in a long time. And the last one I made, I gave to a friend of mine when her son graduated high school and joined the Marines so that she would have a book to put all of her memories of him in. Um, so this is the paper we're going to use. This is what your cutting guide should look like. I have perfected it over two other books, so this one should be good to go. I have tools needed up here. So, of course, paper cutter, scoreboard, card stack, stock. I only use 65 weight. 65 weight. Glue, bone folder, scraper. I don't know what else you call them. My handy dandy is what I call it. Uh, the scrapbook paper of your choice. We're going to need brads. I think we only need, well, we need three. Two for the spin out and then one for the spinning, spinning barn, which, of course, I'm not going to do a barn for this. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I may just do a rectangle and have it spin up because, oh, yeah. So, see, I have paper. And there's stripes for the flag. And then I've got blue. Somewhere I've got blue not polka dots. Oh, come on. Well, I thought I did. I thought I had some blue paper with stars. Yeah. Well, anywho, there it is. So I may just make an American flag that's going to go on that. So it may stay a rectangle, which I think will be fitting for this book. Um, small ribbon for your water, for the, for, uh, pages and the waterfall. Of course, 10 by 1 magnets, decorative paper. When you get this and you see, where is it, page 1, where it has this little, uh, asterisk next to it, that means that needs to be done with decorative paper. That's why up here it has an asterisk next to it. So that way you know, don't be... Just cutting it out. <clears throat> we'll do that with decorative paper. Um, one thing I did not put on here is you are going to need a one inch. See, I only thought I had it perfected. A one inch circle punch. So we're going to use this on the first signature page that we're going to do um, to cover up our magnet on that acetate page. Oh, you need acetate. Oh, for the love. Optional things you could use is a corner rounder and a border punch. And then for each page, I have, you know, the, the score lines. But I have this little box next to it here, so you can check mark it when you're done. You don't have to, but I put it there just in case. Um, I had not done the optional page pullouts on either of the two books that I've already done. We are going to do it for this one. So we will do that. It'll be at the end. Um, so yeah, so there's our introduction to this. Again, sorry it's been so long, but it has been a hot mess over here. A fun mess, but a hot mess. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. So I got these two years ago, again on Etsy. I have no idea where. They are little American flags and little hearts, and I'm going to use that in my shaker on this one. Um, I will try to find them and see if they still have them. And if they do, I will put them in the description below. So what else do I need to put in the description? D-E-S-E-R-I-P. 
description. It needs to be shaker mix. And oh, the chickens, the chickens and the pigs and the cows. All right, I will try to find those on Etsy and put them in the description box uh, below here. All right, so there's our introduction. I will see you guys in the next video. And I am so excited because I haven't made one of these in a while. So, yay. All right. Bye-bye.